हेलो कैन यू हियर मी Can you hear me? Hi. Hello, Samuel. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, fine. I think I I have a finished to dinner. <laughs> Okay. Good. Did you cook? Uh, yes. Yes. Sometime. All it right. Depend the, 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 the day. Okay. Good. But, uh, but it's good to cook. All right. Good. Yeah. Uh, it, it, the, 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 the goal is um, for this lockdown is uh i can practice more <laughs> all right all right good good it's, it's the good all right uh what about elizabeth how was your day <clears throat> alvarez okay roxana portillo Hi, good night. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. And how are you? I'm okay. I'm doing okay. Thank God. That's great. Yes. Jesse, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good. And Alba? Emmanuel, how are you? I guess they don't hear me. Okay, what's today's date? What's today? Does anybody know the date? Nobody knows the date. Can you hear me? It's 7 May. 7 May. May 7. 20. 2020. That is correct. May 7, sorry. May 7, 2020. What is the celebration today? The Soldier's Day. Day. Soldier's Day. Soldier's Day. Soldier. Yes. Were there any celebrations where you live? No. No. No, not that you know of. Okay, fine. I know that uh, there's been. You know there is. I know that a man that that goes to the Solar Plus close to say by the Guadalupe today. Okay. I I I saw he was a soldier of the on the civil civil war of our country. Okay. He All got. Right. He he has. Oh no. Yeah. He has five years going to that place. Okay. For the anonymous soldier. All right. Good. All right. So, so to, uh -huh. celebrate by closing municipalities. Sol soldiers celebrate by closing municipalities. <laughs> 
Okay, and marching. Oh. Okay, fine. All right, so let's review yesterday's uh, different topics. Uh, what did we talk about yesterday? Uh huh. Hello, hello. We were talking about today's wishes in English. Yes, we were discussing how to express wishes in English. Yes. And, and what is the structure that we use to talk about wishes in English? Uh huh. The structure is subject, uh, uh, the word wish, uh, again, subject, uh, bear, and the past simple or simple past in common. Or you can use uh, uh, past continue or Okay. Past perfect. Okay, so you can use past perfect, past continuous, or the simple past to express wishes in English. That's good. Anybody else? So how do you say me gustaría que fuera sábado? I wish it were Saturday. Yes, I wish it were Saturday. Now, when you're talking about wishes, the word was does not exist, does not apply. So uh, whatever you're saying, if it's going to be the past tense of be, you must say were. So I wish it were Saturday. Always. All the time, yes, always. Now, in a real conversation, you would say, or you would hear, I wish it was Saturday. People understanding, nobody will say, oh no, it's not was, it's were. But uh, that's, how, that's how, grammatically speaking, you should talk. All right, um, any questions about wishes? Oh, no. No. Okay. So, um, yesterday, uh, we couldn't start our last topic that was related between the simple past and the past and, and the present perfect. Now, how many tenses do we have in English? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, well, that is well. correct. We have twelve tenses. Every tense has a different structure and every tense has a different function. So, like I was telling you before, the plan for this course is that when you guys finish, you guys are very familiar with the 12 tenses. And you use the 12 tenses naturally the same way you use your Spanish. You know, you speak Spanish naturally, spontaneously, without thinking. So we expect you to do the same when you're speaking the language, when you're using English. So you use the language naturally. So um, we have 12 tenses. Um, does anybody remember the function of the simple past? Let me ask you again, does anybody remember the function of the simple yes. past. What is the function? The, we use simple past for told about action that it was finished in the past. Okay, very good. So we talk about uh, if you want to express things that are completely finished, you have to use the simple past. 
um, what's the auxiliary you used to make questions in past? Did. 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 did, did. Okay. Did. And what happens to the verb? The verb is the. In, in the okay, so when you're making a question Basic. with <laughs> did, the verb stays uh, base form. Did you drink everything? Did you eat lunch? Basic. Did you send the report? Did you bring the money? So whenever you're making a question, you use auxiliary did, and the form of the verb is base form. Now, what happens when the information is negative? Didn't. What is it? Didn't. We use didn't. And what happens to the to the verb? It doesn't change. It doesn't change. So in other words, it stays base form. Now, what base happens form, when, yes. it, when the information is positive, when the sentence is positive? Do you use an auxiliary? No. You, can, you need to change the, the verb to okay. pass simple. Okay. So the form changes to, to the simple pass. So we have regulars and we have irregulars. What's the difference between the two? The regular. We only add, we only add ED and the end and the irregular change all, all the form about the bird uh, okay. and sometimes we the birds is the thin the same but the further we the phonetic change okay so uh yes uh regulars if you want to use regulars in pass you just put ed if you use irregulars the verb usually changes because sometimes they stay the same but it usually changes now what if i want to use present perfect what is the function of the present perfect we told about the action we are doing right now and we add e and g for say present i know no i confused Okay. It's used to talk about actions that are completed, completed by the present time. Okay. Someone else? Someone else wants to give a, a small explanation of what the present perfect is? Anybody? So we, we use the present perfect to talk about actions that are not finished at the time you're speaking. You use auxiliary have or has. What's the difference between have and has? Has is for the, to express third person. Okay. And have? The first person. Okay, first person, you, we, they. All right. Uh, and what is the form of the verb? Um, past participle. Exactly. Past participle. It doesn't matter if you're using positives, negatives, or the question form. You always have to use the past participle. So once again, we use the simple past tense to talk about actions that are finished, and we use present perfect to talk about actions that are not finished at the time you're speaking. Have you watched the news today? Have you watched the news today? Have you read the newspaper? So, 
No. When, when you answer the, the, this question, you say, no, I haven't, or yes, I have. Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. So every time they ask you a question, the auxiliary you use in the question has to be included with the answer. So you go from this particular tense, uh, the answer has to come back with the same uh, tense that you're making the question. Uh, any questions or comments about the explanation? Oh, no, no, it's clear. clear. All right. So let me share this here. Okay, uh, I need a volunteer to read the, the introduction, please. Somebody, anybody? Simple past present perfect. Uh -huh. Simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In the past, use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present. All right, good. So you talk about, thank you. Uh, you talk about completed events, you use simple past. Uh, if you talk about events within a period up to the present, then you use present perfect. So um, when you use the present perfect, you're not asking the people to be very specific However, if the person wants to be very specific and given a specific time, now this person has to use um, simple pass. May I have another volunteer to read the first question? Have you ever eaten snails? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Yes, I have. I I tried them last month. Okay. And what is the second question? Did you like them? Yes, I did. They yes. were delicious. Uh huh. So the first one is very general. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I tried them last month. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. So the first question is very general. The second one is more specific. If you want to be more specific, you have to use the simple past. What, what's the meaning of snails? What, what? What's the meaning of snails? Caracol. Yes, it is caracol. Yeah, snails. Have you ever tried snails? Never, never. No, never. Oh. Never? Okay, they, they are good if you eat them in a cocktail. Now, look at the second question. Yes, I did, and I love them. Yeah, they're, they're really good. You eat them with, uh, with a, in a cocktail with shrimps, fish, and, and, and uh, mussels. They're good. <laughs> yes, and those are actually the delicious. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they're really good. And the price is not bad. They, they're kind of cheap. Now, the second question, another volunteer. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't, but I eat a Thai restaurant last night. Uh -huh. Second question. Did you go alone? Uh -huh. Go ahead. No, I went with some friends. All right, good. So the first question is very general. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. 
So the, the person that made the first question says, did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. So once again, if the information is very general, you're gonna have to use a um, present perfect. If you're going to be very specific or you expect the other person to be very specific, you would ask questions in the simple past. Are there any questions? Yes, I have a question. Yes, Eduardo. Well, what does it mean hmm, within a time period up to the present? Okay. Uh, have you ever eaten snails? Alguna vez has comido, um, what's the word you said? Caracoles. Caracoles. Yes. Mm, yes, yes, I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, alguna vez, that, that's, that's what it means. See, it's making reference to, um, in, in a very general way. And, and that's what it means. Is that clear, Eduardo? Okay. And um, yes, yes, in a general uh, time. Exactly, exactly. It's like if I said, okay, have, okay, you ever, ha, have you ever been in Panama? That's very general. If you say no, okay, so maybe you go next year. If you say yes, and I want to know more, I would ask you, when did you go? Did you go alone? Did you go with your wife or your girlfriend? Did you go with your family? So if I want you to be more specific, I would ask you questions in the simple past. Anybody else has any other questions? Okay, I understand. All right, good. Thanks. All right, anybody else? Any other questions? No? Okay, so let me um, assign you an exercise with the present perfect. So just remember, if you are making general questions, you use present perfect. If you want the other person to be very exact or concrete, then you ask questions in the simple past. So let me ask you three, four, eight, nine, two and three. All right, so here we go. Do you see the image? Can you hear me?
So the second is this uh, did Mary hasn't because is the third person is she so did Mary hasn't her homework yes she 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 has or she hasn't is the answer. Mm 